Hey everyone, Brandon from Brandon's Baseball Cards here. Um, it's, a, it's a beautiful day here once again in Georgia, so I'm out on uh, the deck in my apartment uh, just trying to uh, enjoy the day and uh, thought it would be fun to do a video out here. And I'm actually going to be doing a break today. I'm going to be opening five wax packs of 1986 Donruss Baseball. Now this is actually, um, I think, one of the most underrated junk wax products around uh, because in addition to having the, you know, the the very well-known Jose Canseco rookie card. There's also a Paul O'Neill rookie card. Uh, there's an Ozzie Guillen rookie card. There's a Fred McGriff rookie card. Should be Hall of Famer Fred McGriff. Uh, there's a, there's some decent rookies in here for you know for being so-called junk wax. And this product you can get pretty cheap. I was able to get these five packs on eBay uh, for sixteen dollars, I believe, uh, after shipping. So not not a too expensive of a product. A product I don't have any qualms about breaking. Uh, and maybe we'll pull something good. I've got a couple of penny sleeves just in case out here uh, But I thought let's go ahead and uh, rip into this stuff and One of the great things about Donruss something I've talked about before instead of getting gum they put a puzzle card uh, in so There's Jim Clancy there's Dave Schmidt. I'm going to go through these as quickly as possible. There's Juan Augusto, Brad Havens, a lot of no names so far. Alfredo Griffin, <laughs> Dan Petri, <laughs> Jason Thompson, Billy Hatcher. Ah, Dale Murphy. That's cool. There's Dale Murphy card. There is, ah, Tim Raines, Hall of Famer. That's cool. And there is Calvin Shawali, or, er, Shawaldi. <laughs> oh, there's an, another Hall of Famer. They're coming up. Reggie Jackson's. Reggie. Gary Ward. So first pack, nothing too notable there. There we go. Let's see what we have here in pack number two. There's Paul Householder, <laughs> Dave Dravecki, Ken Howell, Davey Lopes, Dwayne Walker, Hall of Famer Don Sutton, George Foster, longtime Cincinnati Red, Hall of Famer Raleigh Fingers. This is a really nice product um, for, you know, being as I said, part of the junk wax era. You know, it really is a fun product. I love the design. Um, I think 84 Donruss is by far my favorite design of the 80s, but this is this is not a bad design in its own right. Um, you never know, maybe, maybe we'll hit a rookie. I'm pretty sure these haven't been searched because I, it's it's not even necessarily worth searching when you think about it um, because or, or resealing I'm not as concerned about this because this is the the era where it's you know things are three bucks a pack there's really not that much of an incentive to to reseal this stuff even if you pull the Conseco the Conseco near mint to mint eight is maybe twenty dollars it's not that big of a, you know, it's it's a neat card, and it's I'd love to pull it, but it's just, it doesn't have the value of some of the, you know, cards from the earlier in the 80s, such so as Cal Ripken Jr.'s Topps rookie or the Don Mattingly Donruss rookie, right? So, not as, not as much at stake here, but sometimes that's a, the, the best break is when you don't have a lot of money in it, because if, if this costs $15 a pack, $20 a pack like some of the other early 80s product 
you can bet I wouldn't be opening this because it's it's not fun at that point. It's stressful because um, you have to try to recoup your money. There's another Reggie Jackson. That's interesting. Al Pardo, Hank Aaron, Diamond King, Puzzle Card, Rick Dempsey, and Tim Wallach. So we are three packs in, and we've gotten some Hall of Famers, but uh, none of the none of the so-called big rookies yet. We will see if that happens. You know, and it really is a it's a numbers game when you, when you open this stuff. You know, if I were to have bought 15 packs, there's a better chance. There's a new Hall of Famer, Ted Simmons. It's cool. Never seen that card before. There is Billy Bean. The guy from uh, Moneyball, the general manager of the Oakland days when Moneyball became a thing. There's Bill Russell. I'm not going to run through all these names. That is pack number. That is pack number four. I might have actually gone through a few cards more than once, so I apologize uh, if you've seen the same card multiple times in the pack. That's that's <laughs> because I uh, showed it showed it twice. All right, on top. That's kind of cool. Daryl Strawberry. That's cool. His third year card. Of course, uh, uh, had some really great years with the Mets um, before. Uh, some of uh, some of the demons, got, uh, some of his personal demons got the better of him. Speaking of personal demons, Vida Blue, a ball player that could have been in the Hall of Fame if uh, he uh, didn't uh, partake in cocaine and other drugs. Uh, unfortunate. <laughs> a very good ball player. There's a rated rookie of. Marty Clary, uh, <laughs> never heard of him. Don't know if he ever made anything of himself. There's a Daryl Boston. And that is that. So no None of the big rookies, uh, which isn't really surprising. You know, in five packs, it's really a crap shoot. Uh, but did get some Hall of Famers. Got a few Reggie Jackson cards. Got a Daryl Strawberry third-year card. You know, not a bad little break. Uh, and again, this is a, a nice, affordable break. If anyone's looking for, you know, a year that they can... You can get quite a few packs or even a wax box of this, you know, from Baseball Card Exchange. You can get a from a sealed case box. I've seen them go for $99 at the Baseball Card Exchange website. So, you know, really not bad if you're looking for an affordable break, if you're into breaking, right? Not everybody's into breaking, and I, um, I understand that. Um, but a lot of fun. Hope you're all doing well and staying healthy uh, amid all this stuff, and hopefully we'll be able to get back into the world soon. Uh, but thinking about all you guys, hope you're doing well. Take care. Take care of your families. Keep collecting vintage baseball.